It's just gone four o'clock. Base camp. Oh, good sleep. Today we're heading up to Camp 1 on our summit bush. We're going to head out about 5 o'clock. We're going to have some breakfast, a cup of tea, make sure we've got everything. The weather looks fantastic. It's going to be amazing. Thank you. Good luck, see you. See you soon. Thanks very much. It's just gone 5.30 in the morning. We left base camp about 10, 15 minutes ago. We're just making our way along this broken, rocky moraine on the edge of the glacier, which is pretty tricky in 8,000 meter boots, but it's all good. We're just making our way along here for another hour or so, and then onto the glacier itself and then up towards ABC where I'll probably take a break and then go turn left and start the climbing up towards camp one today but it's a beautiful morning very calm there's a few high clouds uh, but the sun is poking its way through and we're off off on our summit bid, hopefully, fingers crossed, all going well, in four or five days time, we'll be uh, pushing on up to the summit, which is super cool, and very exciting. Let me show you where we are. You can see the rest of the team just ahead. We're nine members in the team and then we've got our Nepalese Sherpas as well and a few Pakistani high altitude porters coming up as well so we're about 20 which is really cool and everybody is feeling really good and really positive super psyched so here we go so it's just gone six o'clock and the sun is just coming over the ridge which is lovely and we're now off the moraine and onto the glacier it's a really beautiful morning quite warm super calm it's all pretty flat for the first few hours up to ABC so it's quite a nice warm-up quite a nice journey up the glacier maybe see put our harnesses on crampons and we start heading up but it feels great to be on the move yes. it's coming up to seven o'clock we are now sort of in the ice fall section uh, of the glacier, which is really cool. So we've got a few uh, towering blocks. And we're just going to weave our way through for the next hour or so until we get up to ABC. So we're just on a little section where we move from the glacier back onto the moraine so it's super crappy and a bit chossy but it only lasts like 50 meters and then we're soon going to be off the glacier and uh, just onto rocks and moraine along to ABC in about 20 minutes so it should be in ABC for about 7.30 so this is the final section um, just before we come into ABC which is about five minutes from here and then we turn left on the snow and we head straight out there can't wait 
So this is just rocky moraine with a bit of dirty glass here on the side. It's all pretty chill along this bit. The weather is clearing up as well. I can see the top of the mountain. The wind is still ripping on the summit, but that's due to ease off in the next few days. Just in time for us to go up there. So here we go, I uh, just arrived at ABC. Uh, we've been going about two hours. Uh, we've gone up uh, two or three hundred meters. Yeah, so all good this morning. Nice temperature. I'm feeling, feeling really good after such a long rest at base camp. So we're going to take a little time here, put harnesses on, crampons by the edge of the snow, and then start climbing the Abruzzi Ridge. Up, up, and up. All the way. So we've just left. ABC and charge across some loose rocks and then onto the snow so you can see folk putting their crampons on down there. Then we're just onto this pretty friendly slope at the very beginning of the Abruzzi Ridge. Heading out here. There's no fixed lines on this bit, it's pretty chill. Up and up, snow conditions are great, the weather's great. So it's just gone half past eight. Three hours since we left base camp, and we're now firmly onto the start of the Abruzzi Ridge and onto the lines. Snow conditions are fab, and it's absolutely awesome. A few other folk moving up today for the good weather window, which is all cool. But we're just making our way up to Camp One nice and steady. Lots of hydration. Lots of short breaks. Heading up there along the edge of this rock, hugging it all the way up to Camp One. Looking back down the way we're coming, back down to the glacier and the ABC. And right behind is Broad Peak. Amazing. 12th highest mountain in the world. So come around. That's Sky and Kangri. Just gone 10 o'clock. And we're about 5,850. So we're doing really well. The route since ABC has been sort of all on snow and generally about 35, 40 degrees. So it's kind of steep, steep enough. There's a few little sloughs coming down to the side in the odd rock, but we're pretty safe tucked in here, just on the edge of the Abruzzi Ridge. You can see how steep it is there, about 40 degrees. And we're heading up here where you can see people. So we've just reached 6,000 meters which is awesome. It's a thousand meters above base camp. And it's just coming up to quarter to 12. So we've been going nearly seven hours and we're only just below camp one. Mega. The terrain has got a little bit steeper here. And we're going up into these rocks for a little while and then pop out into Camp one, so maybe half an hour. It's pretty steep, but it's good climbing, good snow conditions. And actually, we've just got a bit of cloud cover, so it's got a bit cooler, which is a bit nicer because it's hot, very hot. Onwards and upwards. Just below camp one, maybe another 50 meters of altitude. And we've just come into this sort of little gully with rocks on either side, which is a nice change. It's a little bit steeper, but it's all good. It's sort of 10 minutes, 15 minutes from camp. Good nice. Really good day. 
really appreciated the cloud cover because it was super hot earlier. I thought all good. So we're just heading up here through this gap. And there's about 10 minutes and then we'll be at camp. Here we go. Just a smidge under 6,100 meters. And we are at camp one. Awesome. This is camp one. This is our day done. Mega. Good morning from just above Camp 1. It's another absolutely beautiful morning. It's already pretty hot. You can see the tents just down there. And now we're heading up to Camp 2 today. Tents at Camp 1 and Camp 2 are a little bit uneven to say the least, so sleep last night was questionable, but feeling good today. And uh, yeah, moving up, and guess what? Straight out of Camp 1, it's steep. I think it's about 600 meters of hiking today, which should be really cool. Snow conditions are perfect, the weather is perfect, and it's going to be awesome. A couple of other climbers just here in our team. I couldn't ask for a better day. So we've been going nearly an hour from Camp 1. We've done just over 200 meters of vert. And it's awesome. Snow conditions are perfect. The weather is amazing. Three folk above us here. Just at six thousand three hundred and twenty, and we've just come into our first little rocky corner. It's like we're going to have a succession of sort of snow slopes and rocky steps and somewhere house is chimney. so far, the weather's good, a little light breeze keeping us cool, and the view is it's kind of over it. So we're going nearly two hours, uh, we've done about 400 meters now, we're now on this uh, rocky crest, which is pretty cool, it's quite exposed, but it's uh, super cool climbing. Peak just behind there. Chogolisa over on the right, the snow one. And you can see down on the glacier the way we came in on the Baltori. It's just so big. It's such a big place. The sky on Kangri, a big pointy one just there in front of us. And there's some monsters in the background. Just gone nine o'clock and we're doing good, doing great. Halfway between camp one and camp two, so we're about 6,350 just here. And the terrain is 
changing quite dramatically. It's getting steeper and uh, a lot more rocky. So we, we head up here through a few rocky bands and a couple of little chimneys and then eventually we've got a house's chimney. So we're just coming up to below House's chimney and the rock's really cool. It's climbed a few quite steep rocky sections. It's just awesome. Gonna take a short break up here and then tackle the chimney and then the lead come to is just above the chimney. Let me show you. Now at 6,550, and the views are spectacular. We just took a short break because what's coming up next is just below Camp 2, is the steepest and most technical part of the route. House's chimney, go straight up there, straight up that. It looks awesome. It looks steep. So this is the bottom of House's chimney. Probably looks about 30, 40 meters. There's some old ropes and uh, little steel like hand ladder. It looks pretty steep. But it looks good. We are in the chimney. It is awesome. Like Scottish grade three, grade four. What well are Pretty steep, isn't it? We're almost there, almost at the top. You what? Halfway up the house chimney. Right back. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go, topping out of House's Chimney. About 30 meters of 80 degrees, pretty steep. And really hard work. And we're almost at camp. You can see the tents. Another 15 minutes and we're done. Camp two. About 6,700. Here we go, just 20 meters from camp two. We've been going just shy of four hours from camp one, which is great, absolutely awesome. And we're now about just under six, seven, so getting higher. Super cool, another beautiful day, really warm, but I'm really looking forward to getting into camp, which is just here, and uh, maybe have a cup of tea, some biscuits. Oh, nice wasn't it? But an amazing day. Here's camp. Camp 2 positioned on the only sort of semi-flat bit on the whole of ridge. And tomorrow the Black Pyramid straight up behind. Awesome. Well, good morning from the Black Pyramid. 
we're just above camp two we left about 20 minutes ago and it, guess what it's super steep and super rocky and it's black as the name suggests so we're into the thick of the lower black pyramid pretty steep good rock though it's nice but it's really cool there's a beautiful blanket of cloud just over there behind me and broad peak as usual and the sun is up and the sky is blue it's a perfect perfect day but it's going to be steep all day so we're climbing from two to three via the black pyramid i'm really looking forward to it it's going to be awesome what do you think bex yeah, <laughs> yeah another mediocre sleep that's for sure but we're about six eight now six seven so yeah all good just steep look straight up there. So we're doing really well. We've been going about an hour or so, hour and a half, and it's just steep. We've just come off the rock and we're now on a bit of a snowy slope. Uh, and it looks like there's a really steep rocky section and then probably more. But it's super cool. The climbing's great, it's just hard work because we're nearly at 7,000. The views are amazing. Just keep taking breaks, keep drinking. It's just awesome. Can last a bit weather today. We're heading up here. Up this steep snow slope, probably up to about 60 degrees. And then up that really steep rocky bit where you can see loads of people. Some of our team up ahead. Just come up a really steep bit, steep rocky bit, about 15 meters, and it's really hard at this altitude. There's a couple of ropes and a little hand ladder to help pull yourself up. It's pretty steep, pretty hard, especially at 7,000 meters. So we're just heading up here. It's like there's a little snowy patch just above and then more steep rock. <sighs> Another really steep rocky bit. It's quite hard work. band they certainly make the lungs go but around 7,000 it's pretty warm today but yeah another steep rocky section we're going uh, just over three hours nearly three hours and 15 minutes we're doing really well it's just steep straight out of camp two all the way through this black pyramid feature it's just constantly steep hopefully we're only a couple hours 
from camp, maybe two or three hundred meters to two hours. That'd be amazing. So we'll see. We're now into the top half of the Black Pyramid. It looks like we're going to follow a succession of sort of snowy couloirs weaving up through these rocky buttresses, which is really cool. It's good climbing, although some of it's quite hard. Snow's really firm, good neve. Just had to dodge a few little rocks coming down, but nothing, nothing too stressful. I can't really explain it. Out of this death gully, it's been firing rocks down. Thank goodness. So, here we have the final few hundred meters up to camp three. You can see Garrett looking at the fixed lines. So, we're not too far now from camp, which will be very welcome after today's climb. Just having a little break here, enjoying the views, which are pretty remarkable, and just a tiny respite from the constant steep climbing. So we're going just over five hours, just gone half to 12, and my watch says that we're just over 7,200 meters, which means hopefully Camp 3 should be just over the top of these little icy bulges. Oh, epic day. Rocky, steep, exposed, a little bit of cloud coming in and out. Absolutely mega day on K2. So about 100 meters ago, we topped out of the rock and now we're on some steep snow heading up to camp. It's hard work, but we're almost there. It's nearly 7.3 now. Cloud sort of coming in and out. Totally amazing. It's incredible. The terrain has changed completely now, so we've lost the steep rock and we're now into steep snow. Here we go, camp three, around 7,300, maybe just a fraction over. Absolutely amazing. Last hour is quite hard work, but uh, all good. It's really cool to be here. Weather is scorchy, couldn't be better. And amazing views all the way around from Camp 3. I'm gonna go in, have a drink, settle in, chill. Have six hours from Camp 2 to Camp 3, which is perfect. And now we do feel pretty high. So, welcome to Camp 3. Here it is.
So it's just gone 1.30 in the afternoon and we've just left Camp 3. It should only be three hours or so up to Camp 4 and then we'll take uh, four or five hours of resting before we head up for the summit. As you can see the views unfortunately today are not very good. We're in the clouds but again it's not cold and we're straight out into steep snow. The clouds have just parted. You can see Camp 3 just down our shoulder. It's absolutely beautiful. Little peak just picking out. G1, G2. And he's straight up this snow slope here. Let's come for. So straight out of Camp 2, it's just steep snow for a good hour, hour and a half. And now it's eased off quite a lot and we've got a lovely rising traverse. The sharps have done a huge effort through this soft snow. Incredible. Well, I think we're pretty close to Camp 4 now. We just have to go up this short steep bit. There's a few climbers coming down. And then traverse across and down the camp. Just around the route. The short, steep, snowy corner, about 20 metres. The going up the shoulder. Pretty cool. And then we're going to traverse across here. And that. That big icy lump up there. That's the Serac. That threatens the bottleneck. The legendary K2 Serac. This is the first time we've seen it. Oh, it's big. And right up behind there is the summit. So that's it tomorrow. Or tonight, even. So my watch is reading 7785. It's definitely fluctuating a little bit. I guess we're around 7750-ish. It certainly feels like we're pretty high. Look up for it, it's just around the corner. A good pull up from 73 to 7750, 78. Pretty high. One more day to go. It's exactly midnight and we're leaving K2, Camp 4 and we're heading up for the summit. We 
moment it is a beautiful, beautiful night. The moon's up, some low clouds, and people are heading out to the summit. Here we go, to the top of P2. Absolutely amazing. So we're going about five minutes. Super calm this evening. Not a puff of wind at the moment. Just saw a lightning storm way, way off in the distance, but that's okay. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. The moon behind me, which you probably can't see, is illuminating Broad Peak and Gasher Brums. There's a blanket of cloud like there has been for the last few days. And I think there's about 25 people in total going out for the summit today. There's a couple from another group. And we've got nine members, ten Sherpas, and two or three Pakistani team as well. So here's hoping for a really good summit night. Here we go. Just coming into the very entrance of the bottleneck, right underneath the Serac, which is definitely a little bit scary. But it's going to keep moving. Obviously, really well this morning. It's really warm. It's totally awesome. So we're just coming into the bottleneck now, up to the track, and then traverse the track and out onto the safety of the slopes around the side. See a few head torches just up there. Sadly, you can't see the syrup. That's probably a good thing. Still in the bottleneck. Got halfway up. Just caught up with the team. The syrup is enormous. And this uh, sort of gully, uh, sort of bottleneck corner is pretty steep. So it's all good. Just coming up the last 10 15 meters right underneath the slack. It's pretty big, it's probably 40 50 meters high. It's just all shiny and icy. But here we uh, traverse left underneath. This will be cool. And then around the side and out of danger. Whew, pretty steep. Going on the side of the slot, a bit of steep ice. But hopefully, this will be able to see, we'll be on the shoulder, and then 300 meters from the summit. So that's about 4 o'clock, that's about 8,400 meters, I think. It's amazing. Take a break. 
and then come out up to the front. Absolutely incredible morning. It's been so steep on ice as well. Lost the front point action this morning. And now finally the sun's coming up. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. The sunrise is coming. The 28th of July 2021. An absolutely beautiful day. Just have a short break down there on the shoulder. The first flat place for about four hours. Now we've got about an hour and a half left. Heading out here to the summit. We're just below the summit of K2. It's just going to hop us five. And it is just perfect. We could not have asked for a better day. There's no wind. There's a little cloud. It is just absolutely amazing. Got a little bit emotional just now when I kind of had the realisation that we're probably going to make it. The front, front doors are probably on the summit now. So we're probably 15, 20 minutes away. Oh my word. Just look at these views. Look at it. It's just amazing. That's all we've got to go. So this is 50, 200 meters of vertical. And we've done it. The final slope onto the summit plateau. Last couple of minutes. The top. Absolutely amazing feeling. Oh, so perfect for you. So, so, so good. Five minutes to go. And we've done it. And this is it. The final 30 metres to the summit of the second highest mountain. In the world, K2. Oh. Mm -hmm. Absolutely perfect day. This is the view from the summit of K2. Absolutely perfect day today. Just over six hours from Camp 4 to the summit with an amazing team of Sherpas and Pakistanis and just the most perfect weather we could have asked for. It doesn't get any better than this. Summit of K2. All right. So it's time to head down from the summit. It's about seven o'clock. The weather and the views are just epic. Have a look at this. Didn't have asked for a better day. Yeah, the film, the film is finished in the summit. So it's pretty much the bits in the summit. It's pretty much the bits in the summit. So you can see camp down there. This is the big track that we're just coming around the edge of. And this is in the night time once you've been underneath the track, you climb up this section here. It's pretty steep. 
This is the traverse. We're going to underneath this massive slope. Thankfully, we did it at night time on the way up. Now we're going to make our way across and then straight down. So we can climb us in the middle. Get there to camp. Yeah. This is huge. This is the slack from underneath. Slack power and past power is coming down. Not somewhere you want to spend too much time. You see a few people in the top left corner just about to start the traverse. Really good. Really good. So here we go, we've just come out of the bottom of the bottleneck. So our route followed the right hand line up through that snow so you can see these people pretty scary under the sack but we're almost back to camp <laughs> 